Hi, welcome to my channel and welcome to this mudra. Mudras for well-being. It's a kind of like a cheat sheet that I want to do for myself and I thought I would share it on this channel um, for myself to always refer to whenever I need and I'll share it with others as well um, because what a fabulous way throughout the day to just center yourself, get energy, calm yourself, whatever you need. So these are mudras. I think there are about eight of them that I'm going to post right now. I have a little cheat sheet of ones that you can do whenever you need. And so again, I just wanted to put this on the channel for myself to refer to. And if it helps anyone else, all the better, right? So the first one is the acceptance mudra. And um, bear with me because I'm new to this. That's why I'm doing this video. So I don't claim to be an expert or anything. Um, I'm literally posting this as a cheat sheet for myself. Um, so I'm not even going to pronounce all the mudras um, properly, probably. Um, but this is the acceptance mudra. So the first one is acceptance mudra. And this is when you put the index finger is folded into the space. Wait, hold on a second. Folded into the space. Here we go, uh, between the thumb and this finger so that the nail touches the fold and the outer lower, okay. Okay, so the thumb and the index, uh, the thumb and the pinky touch and the index finger is folded like this. And um, this is to overcome sadness or any unnecessary resistance to situations. This mudra can help to get into a mood of acceptance. So you kind of tuck in your index finger and touch your pinky. Um, that's that acceptance mudra. So now the next one is going to be for self-confidence and self-assertion. So here you bend the index finger and you touch the thumb uh, to the index finger. If you can see, it's just the thumb and the index finger. And this one would be for self-confidence, self-assertion, for counteracting fear and timidry, timid, timid, to be timid. So basically to counteract fear, kind of touch your index finger with your thumb right in the middle, not at the tip. So this is just an example of this. The one that I really like is when you touch your thumb with the two middle fingers. This is the Apan Mudra, Apan, A-P-A-N. And so if you could see the two middle fingers, you're touching this, and I love that because that moves uh, your energy to the periphery of your body. This could help with any constipation problems, but more than that, for emotional and spiritual use, it gives energy and makes you feel more self-confident. So if you're in any situations that you need confidence, put your two middle fingers together with your thumb and this should give you more confidence and energy. So I really like that one. The back pain mudra is a little complicated. You take your left hand and you touch your index finger to your thumb and then you take your right hand and you're gonna put your second finger and your pinky together. And this is supposed to help with back pain. So again, it's your index finger and your thumb and then the second finger and your pinky with your thumb. And that helps back pain. Then the other one that I like to improve feeling and intuition, um, the tips of your pinky and your thumb touch. And this is supposed to improve your feeling and intuition. It's the Bhuti Mudra, B-H-U-D-Y, Bhuti Mudra. So the pinky and the thumb to improve feeling and intuition, that's interesting. The Gaya Mudra, um, that's the index finger and the thumb. Um, this one, they're straight but relaxed, your fingers. And this is to stimulate the root chakra and the grounds. It's calming and improves concentration. So I like that too. What's really interest, is, interesting is the Hakini, which you see people do a lot when they touch all their fingers together like this. Um, it, this improves concentration. So sometimes when people talk, they touch all their fingers together when they're talking, that improves concentration. Pran Mudra is touching the fourth finger, your third finger in with your thumb, kind of like, a, oh, and the pinky. So the fourth finger and your pinky with the thumb and with the two first fingers out, Pran Mudra. This is to give you energy. 
that could come in handy too throughout the day that I wanted to put on. Okay, okay. oh, and then this other one, you touch the, the ring finger with the thumb and this also increases energy. I might remember this more easily. The ring finger, almost think of it as you're marrying yourself, the ring finger with your thumb. Um, this increases energy and it fosters a sense of inner stability and self-assurance. I like that a lot. So if you ever want to quickly increase your energy and have a sense of inner stability and self-assurance throughout the day, touch your ring finger with your thumb. That's easy to remember. And um, if you want to touch your middle finger with the thumb, I do this a lot too. This one is the emotional and spiritual use of this is it helps you be aware of the moment and therefore it makes you more patient. So if you need to just come back to center almost, literally use your center finger to your thumb and you'll get more in the moment. And the ring finger is the stability and self-assurance. Um, if you ever just want to balance your energy, you can just move between the fingers, the first index finger to your thumb, the second, the third, the fourth. This is very, um, very good because when the thumb touches the index finger, this opens the root chakra and moves energy to the legs and the lower body, which makes one calmer. So the first one, um, you feel more grounded. The middle finger fosters patience. The ring finger is stability and self-confidence. And the pinky finger is intuition and feeling. So when you're tapping into all four of them, you have the root to ground, you have the middle for patience, you have the ring finger for stability and self-confidence and the pinky for intuition and feeling. So that was the little cheat sheet of the mudras. And I just, again, I just wanted to put it on my channel for myself to refer to. I'm not saying I'm an expert whatsoever. I just found this cheat sheet of the main mudras and I wanted to put it on this channel for myself to refer to whenever I need and um, what it looks like when I do it on my fingers. And I thought I would share it just in case it helps someone else. But lately with all the fast movements and influx of energy and things coming at us all the time, it's great to have this in your back pocket, right at your fingertips, literally, to do throughout the day to relax or do what you want to do to make yourself more centered. Um, okay, so that's it for the mudras. Have a great day. Bye-bye.